Keith Hilson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop back with another daily practice tip for you. And today I'm going to be starting a series talking about jazz styles. How do we play jazz? Whether it's how to play you know different styles, how do we improvise, etc. And today I'm going to start a kind of mini series talking about the swing style. How do we play swing? This is something that we can kind of take for granted. Like, oh yes, I know how to play swing because we. And in a lot of cases, we grow up hearing it listening to it especially if we are you know if we're starting playing in jazz ensemble or if we've been doing it for a while we've been doing some listening and jazz is so much an aural and an ear-based language we learn so much of it through this listening however just like especially when we start really doing a deep dive into a language we experience the same thing with with spoken languages as well. Of course, there's so much listening that has to go into it, but we also have to understand a lot of the underlying principles, the rules to the language so that we can understand when we, to truly be able to speak the language as a native speaker in its best form, how to, what rules to follow, how to follow those rules, and frankly, when to break those rules as well. So the swing style at its essence is a triplet based language. So what that means is when we have our pulse, one, two, three, four, the underlying subdivision with that in the swing style are triplets, in this case, triplet eighth notes, one E and two E and three E and four E and one E and two E and three and a four and a, we have this triplet pulse underneath. And so when we think of that style, when we think of swung eighth notes, what we're thinking of is one, a one, a one, a one, a one, like that, but underneath we have that triplet feel, one and a, 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 like that. And so this is something, again, right off the bat, if we're not aware of, we can start to, to change that swing rhythm, the, basically the the quarter note, the triplet quarter note with the triplet eighth note. And very often it can start to become more of kind of almost a dotted eighth, sixteenth hybrid. One, a one, a one, a one, a one. But frankly, even not that precise. So underlying this swing rhythm, we always want to have that pulse, that one E and two E and three E and four E and like that. A really great way to start working on developing that style, that, that feel of the triplets, is to, of course, work with a metronome. Take your metronome and set it to those triplet eighth notes like that and go through play things like a scale. You know, again, you can pick a scale. Let's do you know E flat major scale. And we're gonna just play those triplets. <laughs> just like that, and then what we can do is we're going to start playing that swing rhythm. So in other words, playing the first two eighth notes of the triplet together, making that kind of tri that triplet quarter, and then followed by the triplet eighth. But underneath, we want to be hearing that subdivision. <laughs> So we're always feeling that one E and two E and three E and four E and pulse like that. And very often, of course, at slower tempos, that triplet feel becomes more important here. Even as we start moving into faster tempos, there is this underlying pulse as well. Now, as we start to get into faster tempos, it can be more difficult and frankly kind of bulky to continue trying to one, a one, a one, a one, a one. 
And this is when we start getting into nuance a little bit. There are certainly particular styles within the swing genre, certain eras where that is going to be more appropriate. In a lot of the earlier swing settings from, say, the 1920s and even a lot of the big band music of the early 30s, we definitely had that feel really maintained, maintained place. But uh, in more modern swing settings, a lot of times what we do is we start to not necessarily de-emphasize that triplet, but instead we start to emphasize the accent a little bit more here. So this is the second part of what we're going to be talking about today, is where the emphasis falls. Jazz is kind of a unique language in that the, the accent, the main emphasis of the pulse, is not on beat one. We're so used to, in classical settings, that downbeat being the most important part of the beginning. So on a four bar phrase, three, four, one, that downbeat on beat one is so important. However, in a lot of, especially jazz settings, these swing settings, the emphasis is not necessarily on one. In fact, very often it's more on the offbeat. So for example, if we are in you know, time signature of 4-4, four, four, really beats 2 and 4 are more important to the propulsion of the style. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. This is why, for example, so many directors, if you're, you know, if you are in jazz ensemble, very often your director doesn't go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. They go 1, 2, 1, two, three, four. They're giving us that emphasis on two and four. In the classic swing style, the drummer always has the hi-hat going on beats two and four. A good bass player, oftentimes, if they're even if they're walking a bass line, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, they're still going to be emphasizing beats two and four. The same emphasis on the offbeat also takes place in the swing style. So, when we're playing the swing rhythm, really we almost want to emphasize the eighth note, the offbeat rhythm, more than the downbeat. <laughs> We are bringing out that emphasis, and what happens is when we start moving into faster tempos, We start to again smooth out the swing rhythm so it's not ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, like that. The eighth notes start to become straighter, but the the swing feel and the propulsion we get comes from those accents, and very often those accents being on these off beats instead. So to kind of sum everything up here, the swing style is based off of triplets. The emphasis, the accents in this triplet feel ends up being on the third eighth note or on the offbeat or on, on beats two and four versus on the downbeat of the particular eighth note phrase or of the bar instead. So the, again, this is step one. In the next video, we're gonna actually talk about some other stylistic components of this, in particular articulation. How do we articulate within the swing style to give us more of this kind of the standard swing feel and sound here? So as always, I hope you enjoyed the video here. If you have any thoughts, if you have any comments, questions, please feel free to comment below here. You can always shoot us an email at tromboneshop at schmidtmusic.com. So please keep an eye out for more of these daily practice tips. Um, please keep on practicing and keep making music.